Do the myth mythical sirens exist? There's a video of a fisherman who claims to have met them. Now we know of the sirens from the ancient Greek mythology of Ulysses. Remember he was traveling all over the place and uh, he wanted to see, hear the songs of the sirens. Uh, this, they were the cause of the demise of many a uh, uh, ship with their crew. But what he decided to do is ask his crew members to tie him at the mast very, very securely. And he uh, had the uh, oarsmen, everybody else, everyone else on the ship, stuff up their ears with wax so that they couldn't hear anything. And that way they would be safe whereas Ulysses was able to hear them. And that's why we have this thing here, he's tied at the mast, and uh, all his uh, shipmates, of course, are not able to hear them, so that they're safe from their songs. So uh, there's a fisherman who recently says that uh, he met them, he heard them. And the videos making the rounds on TikTok allegedly depict something that until now we all believed existed only in the realm of mythology and legends, and fiction, conspiracy theorists claim to have found evidence that mythical creatures such as the sirens may actually exist. In the eerie footage captured from his boat during the evening hours, the fisherman appears to have stumbled upon something extraordinary. As he records the scene, he can be heard expressing his confusion and surprise at what he sees. The allure of the sea and its enigmatic inhabitants has fascinated mankind for centuries. We even have accounts of people uh, encountering what they call mermaids or mermen. Now from ancient legends of shape-shifting creatures to the possibility of extraterrestrial life, the mysteries of the ocean seems limitless and the footage was captured during the evening hours and shows a creature moving quickly under the sea with him expressing his confusion and surprise at what he is seeing. An eerie sound is then heard in the background with the fisherman left speechless and claiming to have heard a voice urging him to jump into the water. The video taken last year recently surfaced on TikTok gaining traction on the paranormal chic account and in the uh, recording's introduction the influencer highlights the enduring myths and legends surrounding sirens, mythical creatures believed to lure sailors to their doom by drowning and consuming them and their main method of attracting them according to the lore is through their enchanting songs and encountering such haunting sounds in the middle of the vast ocean is truly chilling. Lovers of mystery and conspiracy theories were quick to draw the conclusion that this creature is nothing more than a siren. So are there mythical sirens or is it a sea creature? Let's remember that sirens are sea demons from Greek mythology and were depicted with a human female head in the body of a bird of prey. After the Trojan War, Ulysses was one of the... Uh, people in the Trojan War. After Ulysses boarded his ship with his companions to return home, but uh, the journey was long, adventurous and dramatic. Storms and various misfortunes threw uh, Ulysses' ship on the island uh, of the sorceress Kirki, who had the habit of transforming people into swine. Now, the resourceful man managed to escape, but their ship had to pass through the lair of the sirens who were fatal female creatures. They were standing naked on the shore of the magical island and their bodies from the waist up were the bodies of beautiful women, but from the waist down they were shaped like fish. In other words, they were shaped like what we think of as mermaids. Their song was so enticing that every seafarer who heard it was seized with ecstasy and hastened to the place whence the sweetest song came from, not suspecting that there awaited his shipwreck and his own death. So goes the uh, legend. Ulysses, however, closed the ears of his companions with wax so that they would not hear the song and be drawn to the trap of the sirens. He himself ordered that he be tied tightly to the ma middle mast of the ship so that he would not fall into the water carried away by their sweet song. Did all this belong to the imagination? It's unknown. They do, however, have some basis in reality as historians have been able to determine Ulysses itinerary based on Homer's vivid and detailed descriptions. Kirki's abode was near Terracina in Italy, where the mountainous Cape 
Kyrgyz is today. The, the mountain even has her, the cape even has her name, which may have been an island. Possibly centuries ago, some queen of Asia Minor took refuge there, while her oriental luxury and courtships created a reputation for her magical prowess. As for the Straits of Scylla and Charybdis, historians have concluded that it must have been the Straits of Messina. There, according to mythology, the sirens also had their lair. Therefore, if Ulysses encountered them soon after leaving the shores of Terracina and before reaching the Straits of Messina, it seems that the sirens appeared in the Sea of Naples, and more specifically near the enchanting island Isle of Capri. From a scholar of these places, another version was formulated that in ancient times the island of Capri was inhabited by a wild race of man-eaters. They had therefore sent their wives to the shore to bid the mariners to land, where a terrible end awaited them. And after all, excavations in Capri have brought a light to, uh, to light a large, large quantities of human bones. Homer, however, mentioned that the sirens were sitting in a meadow and all around them there were piles of human bones, skeletons, and skins. Another tradition asserts that the sirens settled on the coast of Naples in Sorrento, the ancient Sirentium, a name apparently related to the word siren, Sirentium, sirens. And according to Homer, there were two of these female mythical monsters, and they killed themselves out of their rage because Ulysses escaped from the trap they set for him. Other poets, however, mentioned three creatures, Parthenope, Ligia, and Leocopia. And leaving mythology behind, biology comes to inform us that there are, even today, creatures related to the perhaps imaginary sirens, the sirenoids. They live in the sea and at first glance can be considered fish, but they are mammals similar to cetaceans. And these now endangered sea creatures have a length that can reach three meters and their weight 150 kilograms. Sirenoids do not pose a danger to humans. And as the debate over the authenticity of the video rages, these recordings continue to capture the imagination of those drawn to the allure of mythical creatures and unexplained phenomena. And while skeptics remain wary, enthusiasts of the unknown see these videos as possible proof of the existence of mermaids, mermen, reigniting age-old debates about what lies beneath the depths of the world's oceans, which we really don't know too much about. This is on Soul Ask. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.